Hi friends, Jacqueline here with Walk and Tone at Home. Thank you so much for walking with me today. Right now I'm just warming in place if you'll join me. Today we're gonna do a walk with weights. So we're going to do some weights intervals mixed in with our walk. So right now we're just walking in place, that core is engaged. And when I say core is engaged, I mean you are squeezing your belly button as though you're trying to pull it towards your back. So engage those abs, keep that posture strong, shoulders back and down pumping those arms, and we're gonna move this into a side step. So just one to each side. Join when ready. And imagine you're stepping over something here. So keep your steps high. And engage those muscles, engage those glutes, those thighs. In four, three, two, one, back to your walk. All right, now we're just gonna take this into four front, four to the front and four to the back. One, two, three, four. Keep that pace strong. Keep that core engaged. And four, three, two, and one. Back to your walk. Keep that core engaged, keep that step strong. And now we're just gonna turn this into two to either side. In four, three, two, and one two to each side. You can squat down a little bit, engage those glutes and quads. Get those arms going. Getting everything warmed up. In four, three, two, one, back to your walk. Strong pace, that core is engaged, shoulders back and down. All right, and we're gonna take this into that box shape or that rectangle shape on the floor. So we're just making a box or a rectangle shape with the floor here, on the floor. Keep those arms pumping. So some of the movements that we're going to do today, biceps and triceps, we're gonna do some shoulder presses. So I'm working with five pound weights. Again, if you don't have weights at your home or dumbbells, that's fine. Use some items that are around your house, just something that won't break, juice bottles, soda bottles, water bottles, whatever it might be. And remember those water bottles, those plastic reusable bottles, you can fill those with different substances to get different weights. So you don't always have to put liquid in there. If you have sand or small pebbles you could fill in, you can increase the weight on those objects. All right, we're gonna go four, three, two, one, back to your walk. All right, we're gonna warm up those biceps. So just simple biceps and we're gonna raise one leg at a time as we curl those biceps. Turn to the side here so you can be, see a different perspective. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna turn that into triceps kickback. So take 
twist that leg back and just swing those arms, hinge at the elbows. So we're not swinging the whole arm back. We're lifting the arm and then hinging at the elbows, taking those fists toward the back of the room. And I'm not looking down here. I'm looking out, not looking up, just looking straight out, looking actually about 10 feet in front of me. You should start to feel those triceps getting warm, even with no weight. Four, three, two, one, back to your walk. Keep that strong pace. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab those weights if you're using them. All right, in our first set with the weight, we are going to go like we did in the warm up. Do that bicep curl with the leg lift. Join when you're ready. We're not throwing the weight. We are curling from thigh to shoulder. We're not rushing through this. You don't wanna rush weight movements because you could risk getting hurt. Notice I am not bending backwards when I do this. I'm keeping my posture straight. Core is engaged to protect that lower back. Take your time when you're using weight. You wanna be thoughtful. Think about those muscles that you're working. Don't rush through it. We don't wanna swing the weights. We are lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. In four, three, two, one. We're just gonna keep those weights at our side, tight up against your side, just do the side step here. In four, three, two, one, we're gonna move that into a triceps kickback. Take one leg back as you kick those triceps. And I'm squeezing those triceps muscles. Again, thoughtful and slow and controlled movement. This is not an upper back movement, so we're not squeezing our upper back. All right, we are engaging the triceps. Selecting those triceps muscles. You can do one at a time or both at the same time. That's up to you. Hinge at the elbows. Four, three, two, and one. All right, put those weights down. All right, if you can, move this into a low jog. If you don't want to do a low jog, that's fine. Just do a real strong walking pace. All right, and we're going to do some lower body toning. We're not going to use the weights for this. So if you bring that down to a walk, I'm just going to show you. We're just going to do a toe tap. So I'm just taking a step forward and tapping that toe behind my front foot. All right, and then we're gonna move this into a reach and, and a kickback for the butt. All right, so I'm raising, lowering the butt here, <laughs> raising and lowering my leg, squeezing the butt, working those glutes. Four, three, two, one. Back to your walk. All right, we're gonna try that on the other side. So just that easy tap. 
in four, three, two, one. We're going to turn that into a leg lift. Keep that core engaged. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. And four, three, two, and one. Back to your walk. All right, low jog if you can. In four, three, two, one. Go get those weights if you're using them. All right, as promised, we are going to do shoulder presses. So I'm taking my weights at my shoulders going straight up. All right, if you want to up level this, take the feet out, shoulder width apart. You can turn this into squat thrusters. All right, that is an option. Keep that core engaged, protect that lower back. Keep your posture strong here. Knees are behind the toes as we squat down. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those weights back to your side. We're gonna do that side step. Keep those weights head against your side, up against your side. We don't want to swing those weights. You should have gotten winded on that one, especially if you were doing squat thrusters. All right, now we're gonna take those weights back to shoulder height. We're gonna raise those up a bit and we're just gonna squeeze. All right, so go post arm. All right, our next movement, we are gonna take those weights Get me some goalpost arms here and squeeze. Squeeze those weights together. Squeeze those elbows together. Squeeze that chest. Four. Three. Engage those abs. Two and one. I did a lot of push-ups yesterday, so I was a little bit sore on those. <laughs> All right. Keep those weights tight up against your legs. Just doing an easy side step here. We're gonna do one more set of each of those movements. In four, three, two, and one. All right, if you are doing just a regular chest press. Nothing just regular about this, but you are starting at shoulders. Join me when you're ready, going up to the sky. Keeping that core engaged. Imagine you're pulling your belly button towards your back. Keep that core engaged. If you want to up level, add a squat. Turn that into a squat thruster. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings. We are uh, taking those weights straight up to the sky. We're not letting them swing back. Knees are behind the toes. Now 
We're not swinging the weights. We're having controlled, thoughtful movements. We are intentional with the weights. Four, three, two, one. All right. Okay, let's do that side step. Catch our breath after that. All right, shoulders back and down, posture check. Posture is strong, abs are engaged. I'm pulling that belly button back towards my spine. All right, let's go on those chest presses. Goal post arms here, bring it together. I have a strong stance, I'm not leaning back. I'm just pulling those arms together. Six, five, four, engage those abs. We take that lower back. Three, two, and one. All right, put those weights down. Go back to your jog, low jog or a strong walk. This is a very efficient mile you're getting in some toning cardio our one mile we're getting it all done in a short amount of time here that's what we like at walk and tone at home four three Two, one, bring it back to your walk. All right, and just give me easy two side steps. We're just gonna bring everything down. Four, three, two, and one. Back to your walk. All right, and that is your mile. Join us here for another walk if you want to get in more fitness, tone another toning routine, or one of our walks if you want to keep going. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with your friends. Remember to subscribe so you get notifications. We release new videos each week, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thank you so much.